Hello Zelda fans and welcome to the Serpent's Jaws uh, Shea Kata Shrine walkthrough. So the actual shrine is up there in that region that's flashing, but we're going to go over here first um, so we can get the um, so we can get a scale from one of these flying serpent guys. I think his name is Farash. Okay, so, uh, he's not there at the moment. We can go back to, uh, sit down by the fire and make it morning. In the morning, he should, uh, come up over, the, come up over the waterfall up here. So you can see him there in the background. So we're gonna go over, t over here on the bridge. And let's change to some armor to, uh, rubber armor to protect against lightning. That will protect against him because he fires lightning at you, or balls of lightning. Let's wait till he gets closer. And it'll start getting windy, so you can just hop on off here. You don't have to worry about his balls of lightning. Now, in the video, I believe I shoot him in the jaw because I thought he used his, his uh, fang. But shoot him anywhere on the body, not in the face like I just did. Shoot him in the body so you get a scale. Okay. And just keep floating so you can until you see where it drops and then drop down and get it. It's easier to see it if you're airborne. So let's get uh pick up out of the water here. Okay, and then we'll we're gonna go warp over to where the shrine actually is. So it's over here, now you can walk up through the deep woods, but it's better to go on the left here where I'm putting the markers. There's a lot of Koroks and very few enemies. If you go through the thick jungle, there's lots of enemies. Some of them are pretty tough. But it's better to go off on the side on the left. Okay, so there's a lot of Koroks along the way. Maybe even four or five. Uh, so this, in this next part of the video, you can watch me get the Koroks or just skip ahead to where the shrine is.
Okay, so we're approaching the shrine. As you can see it there glowing in the background. Uh, there is a Korok on that tree. If you want, you can watch my end of my video to see how to get that Korok. If you talk to the statue, the statue will tell you that you need Farash's scale. And so let's get that from the inventory. And yeah, it's here somewhere. And hold it, and then if you drop it here, it doesn't work. You always have to drop these in the water in front of the shrines. So let's drop it in the water, and it works, and it opens up the shrine behind the statue. Okay, so now we can go in. There's a thunder spear inside the shrine, but it's just one of the offering shrines, so you don't have to do anything in there. Okay? So you can watch the video, keep watching the video till the end. You can see how to get the other Korok on top of the tree. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching, and please click, click uh, like and subscribe. Hip, hip.